Hello, welcome to another edition of Sense and Nonsense. My name is Roy P. Tharian and you're watching the Motown India show. Just the other day, I had the MG Comet Electric small car from MG Motor India at my house. I had parked this car just outside my house and I noticed this lady uh, taking a close look. She looked all in awe of this electric small car. So when I approached her, I realized she's Rachel Thomas. And who's Rachel Thomas? She gave me a card and in the card it says, skydiving is my passion. Uh, I don't have that passion, but I have several other passions. So I wonder what's more to this passion. And then I realized that she's India's first woman skydiver, 1979, Padma Shri, 2005, National Adventure Award, 1994, at par with Arjuna Award, People of the Year, Limka Book, 2003, Indira Gandhi Priyadarshini Award, 2005, Railway Minister Award, 1993, Air Chief's Commendation, 1992. Member of the Aero Club of India, Life Member Skydiving Federation of India, Life Member Indian Women, Pilots Association. By Jove, that's a lot of awards. Pretty talented, I guess. On top of that, I went online and bought a book. This is an autobiography of India's first female skydiver, Rachel Thomas, that goes by the name of Limitless. There, she's an author too. So let's talk to Rachel Thomas and find out more about her passion and a little bit about the MG Comet. Stay tuned. When it comes to adventure and sportiness, there's nothing like the MG Comet, which MG Motor India launched very recently. But when we talk of adventure, how can we not remember Rachel Thomas? Rachel Thomas, in fact, is the first woman skydiver in the country. Welcome to the show, Rachel. Hi, thank you for having me here. Rachel, tell us, when when was this adventurous journey and you know, when did it begin? How was it like? Way back in 1979. Wow, that's way back. Yeah. Okay, so how was it? I mean... Nearly I mean, 43 years ago. So, so skydiving, what does that mean? Skydiving is really a freeing fall, a freeing, a freeing absolutely... A absolutely flying like a bird in the in the sky it's the other word for skydiving is free falling so that's what skydiving is all about so uh, and what height do you free fall uh, you when you start initially you start from 5000 and then you gradually go up and there's no limit till about 14 15000 you can if uh, like 13 14 you can do without oxygen but if you go further up you need oxygen so there is no limit how far you can, or how high you can go and free fall. Okay, and, and how is it? Is it as simple as the, the plane doors open and you just jump out? Yeah. It's yeah. as simple as that? As simple as that. And, and, and the free fall, which starts, or we've seen it in the movies, so how much of it is free fall before you uh, open it's up the It's basically you free fall from say from 10,000 to 3,000 feet and you uh, it's it's about 7,000 feet and you cross in 45 seconds yes 45 seconds wow and it's it's been successful all through yes I, I've, I've had blood. no no I've, <laughs> I've had problems at times once my parachute didn't open so I had to uh, I had to open my reserve parachute so yeah at times I do have problems you, I won't say everything is perfect you have received a lot of accolades in your life time and in fact uh, a lot of important awards too can you mention a few of them the highest award that i received was the padma shri which i received from president abdul kalam yes it was such a wonderful award uh, and it came like a surprise to me so i never even thought that you know i'm going to get this award okay and and any others i mean yes i got the uh, national adventure award which is equivalent uh, to the norway tensing award today that's equivalent to the arjuna award so that's the second highest award. I've got a lot of other awards like the Air Chief's Comm uh, Commendation, the Railway Minister Award, Indra Gandhi Priyadashni, the uh, Limka Book of uh, the, the Person of the Year Award. So yes, I have received many awards. Okay, and do you know how to drive a car? Yes, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. And I, I've, I've been driving an automatic car in Dubai, so I love automatic cars. What do you have to say about this new MG Comet oh, electric I, car? Oh, I liked it. I, after a long time, I fell in love with another car. Okay, but, but a lot of people say it's, it's a bit too small. I mean, what do you have to say to that? It's... I feel it's just right. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not a very tall person. And uh, I think I think it's a beautiful car, a nice sporty car. I liked it. 
and, and there's enough leg room where I sat in the front. So it, I think it's good enough. I mean, in a city as crowded as Delhi, we should have smaller cars and we should have cars that is it's easy to park, to find space. I feel it's good. But what about the styling in front? And I, I uh, think I think it looks nice. It looks nice. It's, uh, I, I don't know, for some reason, maybe the color, everything I liked it. Lovely. Rachel, you now stopped driving in India or what? Yes, my children feel that it's not safe and they say when the, when the Uber is there and the other conveniences are there that you don't need to have a car. But for some reason, I like this one. So maybe, maybe, maybe you maybe, could yeah. start again, once again. I think I'm quite tempted. Okay, wish you the very best, Rachel. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you for having me here.